can you do a video on how to camouflage that 40 plus muffin top? You ask, I answer. This video is by request just last night from my girl, Bronx Girl 67, and I thought it was such a great topic. I nixed what I was going to do today, and instead I stayed up till the wee wee hours sketching out this topic because I think it's something that a lot of women want to know. So if you like the topic, be sure to give her a big thank you. And if you have a style, beauty, or wellness topic that you'd like me to cover, majority always rules, so please comment below. Maybe your request will be next. Stylish ways to camouflage a tummy or a muffin top. More often than not, things that some women do to camouflage their tummy or muffin top actually cause them to look heavier or bigger than what they really are. No bueno, that's not what we want. But we also want to look chic, cool, and on point. Not like a remake of the Golden Girls. You know what I'm saying. And while I'm on it, I just have to vent. If you've ever Googled outfits for women over 50, uh, this is what you get. I don't know about you, but I am 54 years old and I do not want to wear that kind of an outfit. It's so annoying. Ugh, I can't even. Here, we're all about cool, chic on fleek style that because we aren't 20 is going to be a little more sophisticated and polished, but it's still going to be hip and cool and everything that you love about style and clothing. Number one, light over dark. This technique will make your tummy disappear pronto. First, you wanna choose a dark top and dark pants. Black is really typical, but be a little more creative. We wanna be stylish, right? Think things like navy or a deep dark aubergine or forest green, a chocolate espresso. All of those are really beautiful colors. Here, I'm wearing a high-rise boot cut denim. And side note really quickly, especially for my petite ladies, I just bought these jeans. These are by Madewell. I did not hem them at all. I'm five foot two and they fit perfectly. I will put all the links down below. I leave the shirt hanging out and notice that it comes just about to the top of my hip bone because I don't want it hitting at the widest part of my body. And next, here's where the magic happens, people. I put a light bomber jacket over it. Now, it doesn't have to be a bomber jacket. It can be a sweater, a cropped jacket. The point is that it is a lighter color than what you have underneath. That does a couple things. First of all, the eye is automatically going to be distracted and go to the light garment that you're wearing and then leaving your shirt just lightly under tucked clearly gives it a nice little camouflaging effect. I think this looks super chic. So you can do it this way, or I've also just swapped it out for a sexy little black cami. And again, I've left it untucked and I just utilized the same light jacket to give it that look. You're also camouflaging areas that you're not comfortable with and it's not obvious that you're trying to do it. Avoid tight, clingy tops. Okay, duh. I mean, this seems really obvious to me and I know you guys already know this, but here's the deal. It doesn't mean going the total opposite way and wearing something just completely oversized and flowy because that can make you look much bigger than what you are. Not only that, but in my opinion, wearing a big, huge oversized top is like the equivalent of waving a white flag. Like, fuck it, I give up. Just roll me up to the table and strap a feed bag on me. I'm done. Instead, opt for tops that have ruching or draping. Ruching in my opinion is one of the sexiest most flattering garment techniques out there it is one of my faves watch when you see celebrities on the red carpet watch how many of them wear a top or a dress that has this ruching or the draping effect Catherine Zeta Jones is a big one she wears this a lot this particular top that I'm wearing is just from my closet it's by Enzo Costa I love this one I actually have it in like four or five different colors and you notice two things one it draws the eye diagonally which is flattering. Because of the ruching, it creates light little folds in the fabric that camouflages any bumps or lumps that you don't want to see. But it softly graces my body just so that you can see I have a shape, but it isn't tight or clingy. I just think it's gorgeous and flattering. Uh, one of my favorites. All of the links for this stuff will be underneath the video in case you want to check it out. Okay, y'all, a few quick shout outs. First, to my girl, Kara K, my girl, Miss Linda Murphy, Miss Marina how do I pronounce your name? Mavrogenous. Mavrogenous? Correct me if I'm wrong. Miss Off the Clock Astrophysicist. Are you really an astrophysicist? Ladies, thank you so much for being a part of the community. I really appreciate having you here. It's people like you that make what I do super, super fun and it's why I love doing it. If you would like a shout out, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Comment below. I have brand new content every Tuesday and Friday and I would love to have you as part of the community. Choose a top or a dress that defines the area under your bust and then floats 
slightly over your tummy. This defines the smallest part of your torso by drawing the eye to that area and away from your tummy area, which is of course hidden by your pretty topper dress. This particular dress that I'm showing you is an A-line with a deep plunging V-neck. The V-neck is very, very flattering because it gives you that long visual line, which is what you want. It is elongating. And then notice how the rest of the dress floats gently away from my body. It is still close enough to my body where you can see my shape, but it camouflages anything that I don't want anybody to see. Create vertical lines with a longer top, a boot cut pant or denim, and a crop jacket. I opted for a boot cut because skinny jeans are very, very out right now. If you like them, obviously you can wear them. I'm just giving you a heads up. So instead, I choose a high rise boot cut denim. It gives me a nice, long, lean look. The longer top floats over the tummy area, while the crop jacket draws the eye away from the tummy area and adds a cooler, trendier vibe to the overall look. The boot cut or fitted flare jean gives you overall more shape and length versus choosing a big baggy oversized pant. You don't want to do that. You want to look slim, long, and lean. Do you have a burning style question? Don't be shy. This is a no judgy eyes community. It's just a bunch of us women here to laugh, share, comment, have fun. It's just like we're hanging out in my living room. So be sure to ask below. High-waisted pants. High-waisted pants are flipping magic when it comes to making a muffin top disappear. It nips you in a little higher on the torso, eliminating that annoying muffin top that you can get if you're wearing jeans that are mid-rise or a little too low. Here is the exception. If you have an apple shape, an apple shape generally has thinner legs, thinner arms, and holds most of her weight all in her midsection, her bust, and her back. High-rise jeans or pants are not going to be flattering on an apple shape. Instead, you want to opt for jeans that come to the belly button or just a smidge underneath with a thicker waistband. That is gonna hold you in much better than a high-waisted jean. If you're wearing a high-waisted jean and you really have a pronounced stomach, I mean, think logically, right? It's just going to highlight it. Now, whether it comes to your belly button or a smidge under, you really need to play with that and try on a couple pairs, stand back, look objectively and say, okay, which do I I feel is more slimming and flattering. Think long, think wrong, you'll know when you try them on. And the wider waistband, not a skinny waistband, a wider waistband is going to help to hold that tummy in. Ugh, and it feels much better, right? <laughs> Don't tuck your tops in all the way. Instead, choose either a drape top, a rouge top, or if you've got a blouse or a button down like what I'm wearing, you can choose to sloppy tuck it. This is only if your main concern is a muffin top. If you have a pronounced tummy, you don't wanna do a sloppy tuck because you're, again, you're going to highlight the tummy area. Just leave the blouse or the top untucked, but make sure that it comes around the top of your hip bone. That's going to be most flattering. Keep your belts above the tummy. You want to avoid belting at or under the tummy. That is going to not only enhance your stomach, it's going to give you major muffin top. A faux wrap dress. A wrap dress is one of the most universally flattering dress silhouettes for every single body type. And it does wonders for camouflaging a tummy, eliminating any potential muffin top, and just making you look sexy and ba-bam overall. You can see what I'm wearing here. I know it's a holiday dress, y'all, but just focus on the silhouette. First, the V-neck creates a vertical line, which again, lengthens and elongates us. The crossover visually lifts the boobs and makes them look good. Of course, we like that. The diagonal lines and ruching create an amazing slimming effect. And those folds camouflage any lumps, bumps, or tummy that you may be concerned about. I think you'd agree this is an extremely flattering dress. It's flattering on every body. Plus one piece dressing is always a benefit. It's so easy to wear and you always look amazing. Wear a high quality supportive bra. Really important you guys. A high quality bra with good support lifts the chest and makes your waistline look slimmer. Conversely, a poor quality bra where your boobs are just kind of sagging makes it look like your boobs and your waist are just all for one and one for all. It makes you look heavier than what you are, like you don't have a waistline, and it looks old. 
you want to invest in a slew of high quality good bras. I have them in regular, razorback, strapless, black, white, nude, because nothing will F up your look more than having poor quality garments on. Draw the eye upward. Highlight your shoulders. Shoulders are the area on every woman's body that always look beautiful in my opinion. Like it's almost impossible to have fat shoulders. Try a billowy off the shoulder print top, add great earrings, a red lip, and blah, bam, you are golden, girl. Okay, y'all, um, the last one that I know somebody's gonna call me out on is shapewear. And I'm gonna be really honest, I have never worn shapewear, so I am not ready to talk about something that I know nothing about. If you would like me to research shapewear and bring you options and talk to you about what I have found, comment below, let me know. I'm happy to do that. Like I said, I do what I do because I love bringing information to you. I'll get my little pencil out and I will start researching. Okay, y'all, those are my tips to hide a tummy or a muffin top. Of course, I always Always love your feedback. Please comment below. And until a couple days from now, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Tonight I'm gonna feel like and no one won't be at your night. So baby, go and start a fight.